In this life, anything is possible. I wake up and I get to live, breathe, eat, sleep, laugh, love, cry, play, try, fail, and try again, succeed, until I take my last breath. I've always had this feeling that I want to be great. I want to make an impact in this world. They say that life is short, but art lives for an eternity. So I create, I go off tangents, I become obsessed with learning about the things that I love. I'm unconventional, I'm a dreamer, and my curiosity and ambition know no bounds. So when everyone around you tells you to take the traditional route, to put yourself in the box that's expected of you, follow the rules and do it the right way, go to school, keep that hustle on the side, get the secure job, get married, the then retire. It makes me think, who am I doing this for? Nobody wants to wake up 40 years later wondering where all the time went. I'm capable of so much more than this. But wait, if this is your first time on my channel, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Chedza. Balancing a range of passions, I thrive in the dynamic flow of creativity and exploration. I'm a culinary artist, blending flavors and textures to nourish my soul. I sculpt visual stories, turning moving pixels into content that people can connect with. I'm a linguistic explorer, discovering new worlds with every phrase. Music is my language of emotions, where the melodies sing the words I cannot say. And in a realm of physical artistry, I like to defy gravity, pushing my limits of strength and flexibility. But whilst chasing my dreams, I'm grounded by the love and support of my amazing family, friends, and my faith. They're my constant reminder of what truly matters in life. Last year, I dropped out of university, started a business, ran away from home, traveled abroad alone, and then moved back home. And that's a lot for one year. But I'm here to share my experience and remind you that you can overcome anything. Together, we'll laugh, we'll learn, and we might even cry. But we won't have any regrets because things aren't happening to you. They're happening for you. I just dropped out of university. I'm at university right now. I'm sitting in the grass theme. And I've dropped out. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel so... I know I shouldn't feel good. But I do. I shouldn't... The emotions I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I'm free to go and live my dreams. I feel so free. But I had to hand in my student card and that was like sad. It was, yeah, it was sad. But the, the faculty office receptionist that I, that I handed it to, she was so nice and she was telling me like things I can do. Guys, please tell me why the, pa the past two people who have dropped out have been computer science students, please tell me. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, guys, maybe, maybe it's a sign. I don't know. Anyways, I am so happy. So. Why did I drop out? I can sit here and justify why I dropped out all day. The schedule sucks. I had zero autonomy. I didn't need a degree to pursue software development, which is the degree I wanted, but that's not even it. I just wanted to be able to make and play video games for a living. But you know what I'm starting to realize the more that people ask me? At the end of the day, even if I didn't have a reason, I would have made one up. The moment we started buckling down on work was when I realized I simply didn't want to be there. Man, I even considered joining the military. I wanted to be anywhere else but there. Oh yeah, I must also give an honorable mention to the anonymous YouTube channel that I had been building since I was 14. By then, it had grown to over 50,000 subscribers and was generating me revenue. And this is what I was going to do after I dropped out. So I wasn't necessarily hopeless. How did they react? Um, they said no, of course. But so did I. We both said things that were unkind. It's as if we were two parallel lines destined to never intersect. My parents raised me very well. They know how to deny me of a lot of things I wanted. 
and this made me very resilient. I learned that at some point, you can't ask, you just have to take. I don't know, I'm just vlogging these weeks in my, the next two weeks of my life. And I have two videos that are waiting to be edited, but at the same time, like I'm trying to build a business, I'm trying to maintain another channel, I'm trying to document it all here. The pressure is on. That's why I wanted these two weeks to like try and be determined to fix my sleep schedule, to exercise every single day and whatnot. Basically, that means going into freezing cold water for around 10 minutes for me. It's icy. It's so icy. Yesterday it kind of went well. The problem was is that I only got six hours of sleep So that affected me very much the whole day my eyes were like on fire They were burning and I don't know why that's a symptom of when I don't sleep enough But it just is and then I was also getting like headaches <laughs> and I just stopped working and I I don't know I basically like went on holiday again and then later on in the evening I realized that for me rest cannot be netflix it's it's just not restful for me if i watch netflix i will still be tired like even after four hours of watching netflix okay so this is my sushi dinner the lesson that i learned today was basically that you have to see how you're feeling each day like especially just for me maybe it's a woman thing i don't know but like you have to see how you're feeling each day and adjust the measures you need to take in order to work the most productively for me that was watching a netflix show that i don't have to pay much attention to that just helped me just zoom right through making this product i'm almost more than halfway done now that is the task for today and um for now i'm just gonna eat my dinner and then i'm gonna go back to that tough time never lasts only tough people last <laughs> During this period, my mind was in a constant change, swinging between moments of clarity and confusion as I chased after the goal of financial independence. I found myself easily swayed by shiny new business ideas, always tempted to try things out in search of quick wins. Amidst this whirlwind, I made impulsive moves, like putting down a deposit for a trip to Morocco, because I had been craving a taste of adventure for a long time. The longing for independence weighed heavy on my shoulders, especially with the tensions building between me and my parents after dropping out of college. Our already strained relationship was only declining, and it felt like they couldn't care less about my perspective, what was going on in my life beyond school. I gotta move out, I gotta move out became the repeat thought playing in the back of my head. Despite occasional moments of clarity and productivity, I struggled to stay on track and often found myself falling into destructive patterns. I wrestled with accepting life's lows and embracing femininity in my journey. Why do I have to get this heavy blood flow draining all my energy, pain-inducing period every single month? Craving stability, I tried to establish routines, but none ever seemed to stick. At the same time, I started my business because the idea of relying solely on a YouTube channel for income left me feeling like this couldn't possibly be it. In my relentless pursuit of financial gain, I shoved my passions to the back burner, seeing them as nothing more than distractions in my pursuit of success. My diary became a support for my inner chaos. And all in all, I knew I had to learn to take proper breaks to keep myself from going insane. Then I did it.
I finally felt like I had enough money to move out. And honestly, it was a no-brainer. I was so tired and I was ready to begin a new chapter. I had a discussion with my mom, expressing my desire to move out, and she shut it down so fast. Again, not very nice words were exchanged. Getting lectured on how I didn't know how this world works, just because I make money online doesn't mean that I can even make it out there. That I'm too young. I'll spare the details. The thing is, I had already booked a flight and I had a place to stay. I snuck out the next morning at 5 a.m. Just to my hair and the security guard gave me a chance to sit on. But we are waiting outside the gate for the Uber. Got all my stuff here. Brought for this nicely in a suitcase. And it's sunrise. <laughs> and it's sunrise. I was scared and I was hungry, but I was determined to make this happen. I was determined to move out and I was determined to finally know what freedom feels like. like the airline that I was flying with they even like gave me a text and whatnot so that was really cool but we have arrived and we landed safely we flew safely God is protecting me all the way so life is good we're in the grocery store shopping for food to eat for the first time I don't know why, but when they told, like, the people that I'm living with, when they told me that it's, like, safe to walk alone, I don't know why. I assume, like, you know, I wouldn't get, like, cat cold and whatnot. Oh, no. Cat call is countrywide. I mean, I didn't think it would stop, but I didn't expect it to carry on either. So, now we're looking at lentils. Because I want to make a lentil curry. Here's my room. It's a little bit of a mess because I just got back. And I'm so tired, like, and I just, I just ate, so, but I have energy because I barely, like, I ate a pear, and then I left. And this is the co-working space, and there's a speaker there, there's my iPad on my phone, here is me vlogging, and this is um, a lounge area, living area. I don't know why it's out of focus and then here is the bathroom and we also have a kitchen which is very nice as well as um, an outdoor area to do work I mean well actually to do anything so yes and as for the groceries that I bought I bought Coconut milk, peanut butter, brown bread, noodles, oats, and some apples. And then in the freezer, I, there's some mixed vegetables. And then I also bought almond milk. And um, yeah, that's that's all I bought. And it was just you know like just basics for the week because like we're gonna discuss because I'm not here alone. This is a shared space. Yeah, right now I'm watching this movie called Joy. It was, re I think, released in 2015. And it's basically about um, a woman who becomes a business owner. Excuse me. To basically like work hard to get herself out of the life that she's living. Because she doesn't like it and she doesn't want to end up the same way her parents did. So I think it's really inspirational. And it's... Um, what is this? Um, I'm not done. I'm not finished watching it, but like, honestly, I, th I think I should unpack everything. I'm so tired, guys. Like, I'm 
I'm just tired. Anyways, I'm just gonna have a break. Today was such a long day. So yes, that is that is that's that's where I am. So I just had a conversation with my mom and my sister, they both called and I mean like yesterday, like I asked, like I asked to move out and then my mom was basically saying no and giving me a whole lot of reasons and like it just didn't go well, we both said hurtful things to each other and whatnot. But today, you know, like first in the afternoon, the, before I showed you the house tour, um, she, you know, she had called me, you know, like questioning why I had done this because she found out that I like left without her. I actually, guys, you saw how dark it was. Like, I left the house at like 5 30 a.m. Like, I basically snuck out, I basically ran away from home. And like, that whole plane ride, the reason why I was journaling the whole time, I was like dumping, like, I just had, I just had to release because that was a lot. It was a lot to have been exhausting, but now. My mom is saying that she came to my room today, you know, the one day I'm not there, the one day. And like, she she came with gifts apparently. And you know, because I mean, yesterday I guess I was telling her that I didn't really like feel appreciated or loved. Like, I know that this is like tea, I shouldn't be like spilling on YouTube or whatever, but you know i think it's just being real being transparent and like she recognized that i also recognize that and i mean i'm not perfect you know so i'm like i'm just saying she called just now to say you know what like at least um like she was asking me questions about the baby like having a very open mind just just caring and like all the guilt that I felt has just like left so like I'm so glad that I was able to do this and I know that this is gonna be a very prosperous month and I'm so happy and I have all the love in the world for my parents and my family and my friends and everyone who has supported me and for myself because this was crazy i do admit it it is crazy to just you know get up and leave but it, was, it is what it is guys and now i'm in this beautiful room in this beautiful place and yeah anyways um i'm just really happy like not only has she accepted it but she's like interested and she was asking questions you know what i mean like guys i just think like today is a good day good morning good morning everybody welcome to my room welcome to day two of being in cape town and living alone for the first time in my life i am so excited but today it's such a beautiful day i keep looking outside the window because uh, there is a palm tree swaying the sunlight is sunlighting the cars are carring like it's just a good day today and i think i want to go on a walk i think i want to go on a walk and i'm gonna try going to the beach um i'm not gonna try i'm gonna go to the beach and yeah, I'm gonna figure out like the routes to get there because I have this two routes. So now I'm just gonna eat breakfast and like I'm so I'm so happy.
and it's so peaceful there's a lot of like i don't know but it just surp not surprises me but make, makes me happy to see a lot of women walking alone you know what i mean that's a good sign i think that's a good sign anyways i regret not bringing a hat because now like there's such a nice long distance to walk there but like it's facing the sun i mean i am wearing sunscreen though so i guess it's okay but i really regret not bringing a hat anyways let me go i didn't i thought there was gonna be like a promenade maybe they will be i don't know so i'm, looking, I'm just gonna keep walking Good morning, made my bed today, slept late yesterday, I'm gonna show you what breakfast is. This is breakfast, it's some oats and uh, muesli and bananas and macadamia butter and an archie. And then, I didn't want dinner yesterday because you know I was having dinner with my housemates and they don't know about this channel and I think I'm gonna keep it that way but they made a vegan Thai curry yesterday that's what we had it was impeccable her cooking is amazing and guys I'm just having a bowl I'm having a bowl here so I'm gonna eat breakfast and then get straight to work because I feel so motivated and I have lots of new ideas and yeah I do not know who has bath here. I don't know when the last time it was clean. Yeah, I just want to take a bath. I think it'll be very beneficial to me. I'm almost ready. I'm just gonna put mascara and eyeliner. And it drizzled outside today. And I missed it. I missed it because I was in the bath. And I didn't even see it. But I had a very nice bath, so like I feel recharged. things with him because no one else does do anymore mm -hmm. Hi, burr, 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 burr. I thought that the gin the dinner was like a, I don't know a discussion like I don't know we <laughs> I don't know and then we get there and um it's it is a discussion but I didn't know that it was run with a charity and that they also double as a soup kitchen. The, the charity was about like stand right rise up against GBV and they were busy talking about you know all the different things that social workers go through. Like, I mean, I wasn't expecting none of this. I, I, sh I should have read the invite more, just like, so that I could expect it. I mean, I enjoyed myself. I loved the walk. Yes, it was raining, but I loved it. I just wish I had an umbrella. It was giving GTA so much. That was the peak of GTA core. 
so yes I am romanticizing life so I just came back from a walk um, one of my housemates was showing me around there's a lot there's a lot going on here um, yeah but now I'm gonna go back home and eat breakfast and then I'll decide what I want to do with my day I know that this was I thought this like little tour was gonna be much longer but it was very short so yeah the shops and I mean first we came back from the beach then I came back from the shops I mean yeah I went to the shops so let me give you a little haul okay. rice cakes these are like one of my favorite snacks peas because I didn't buy it last time don't know why and then I got not one two cans of kombucha because kombucha is good for the gut and I don't know now I'm gonna do some Pamela Reef workouts. I have the app and on the app like she has a schedule. Good morning today. I'm making a schedule for myself because I have not used a schedule since uni. Good morning. So the whole of this morning since not like because I've been using the schedule. I woke up late because I slept late so like I wasn't gonna compromise my sleep but I woke up around half past seven and I immediately like wrote down what I wanted to do for the day I wrote down my dreams and I read the Bible and then I quickly went and got breakfast and then I started doing work I've been working since about eight right on, up until now at one I didn't I meant to stop at half past 12 but like I just wasn't finished with what I was doing so like I have to keep going I have to keep pushing and now I'm going to work out I did something smart by coming to the beach and eating my lovely The view is beautiful, but every five minutes I keep getting hit with sand. lunch menu today is leftovers from yesterday it's bry pie very good my housemaid made it she is an impeccable chef and like I'm feeling better now because I just like completed something that I've been procrastinating for three days and I felt very guilty for procrastinating about it the washing and you can even see it like right there um, I did some washing and honestly like I was just feeling so Blech. So I, then I decided to journal it out and then I noticed, you know, like I actually don't need, like I don't have a lot of things that I, that are due today. Like I set my own deadlines for everything. What I'm basically trying to say is, is that like I needed to calm down. It's not going to be the end of the world if I don't do certain things. Like it's my choice to do it. I'm choosing to because I know that I like I know that it will benefit me in the future. It might not benefit me right now, but it benefits me at the end of the day. I'm just trying to explain my thought process to you guys. I'm glad and then I have to send an invoice. I love sending invoices. Affirmations. <laughs> A new season of Lupin came on recently, so I'm basically gonna watch that for the rest of the day, chill for the rest of the day. And yeah, take it easy.
done with the surf it was very i mean it wasn't surfing i was just helping other people surf and i'll ex i'll explain more about it later but um it was very very nice i hope you can hear me it's a bit windy but yeah There's a whole of everything. Oh my gosh, I met so many cool people. Like, every well, yeah, everyone I talked to was just nice. I guess maybe that's what happens when you go to a, like when you volunteer and you meet a bunch of other vol volunteers. You, you meet really nice, selfless people. So that was really fun. Hey. So the lamp fell down, and I hope it didn't break. Yesterday I made some lentils and some brown rice. If I'm still on your mind, then some more. And this is your sign. Let me know. Good morning. Today we woke up early to go on a hike. I made my bed and everything. After making my bed, I felt much better. But um, when I woke up, like immediately, oh, I was like having regrets, like just thoughts, just thoughts. But I was just like, anyways, um, I'm all dressed up now. So. in a lot of money which was non-refundable for my trip to Morocco and I was having a hard time getting a visa. I also only had two weeks until the trip and I was not ready to accept the fact that I was not going to be able to travel. I'm just thinking that I didn't come this far to come this far so I'm going to do everything I can because I refuse. I, like, I refuse. I refuse. It's so frustrating. It feels like I have to go out of my way. And I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, why does it have to be this hard? Why do I have to go through all this effort? Like, I, like I do not have peace of mind. I don't have peace of mind right now. And for some reason, every single day, I was waking up super late because my body was just extremely exhausted and I'd like to think that it was exhausted emotionally. I was still processing everything that was happening and while I may have been loving life, I wasn't necessarily satisfied with my career. so happy when my housemate invited me to watch the rugby world cup at her church because not only was i gonna have a nice place to watch the world cup and experience that game day 
atmosphere, which is really beautiful, especially with South Africans. But I also got to experience another community, which was this church, which I later on went to several times after this. Hi, my housemate got a really nice dress and I was like, wow, that's a really nice dress. And she's like, yeah, it's from there. So I'm gonna go there today. It's in Kalk Bay. I'm gonna Uber there and then probably walk back. trip i lost the money i wasn't able to get a visa in time but for some reason brazil popped into my mind and boom just like that i was going to brazil in a few days so that's why i was getting this dress so that i could in front of the cristo redentor statue and i was just um over the moon i was very happy Um, I don't know why my hair is glowing, but I just got this delicious open toast sandwich. Um, I apologize uh, for the food on my face, but oh, this place is so cute. This is such a cute little city, little town. Um, yeah, like maybe when I get older, maybe I would come back here and open a little shop just for fun. So, um, I'm having lunch, you know, like with a beach, beach view. It's very nice. Let me show you. My iPhone camera doesn't do it justice. Right. Anyways, I'm going to listen to music and eat the rest of my sandwich and wash as the waves crash on the shore. And yeah. get some Vietnamese food. I was busy watching Selling Sunset and it was very good but um, I guess I'm here now so I'm kind of on a time crunch. I, I wasn't procrastinating like I don't know I just a stressful start to my day so then I did stretching I mean, I also watched TikTok for like three hours and then, you know, like stress was enhanced. But anyways, today's been a good day. I mean, it's always a good day. Like as soon as I get out, it, it always feels nice. But also, I mean, like it can be nice when I'm inside as well. It depends. I've got the girls. Oh, but the heavy side. Heavy side. I, she said enjoy and I was like, you too. Come on, come on now, let's do better now. Chili food on me. And vegetable dim sum. And the ginger is very it's evident. All I like the bun. why I brought her along. I'm just get a little. I just got this um, falafel thing from the show. It was so beautiful and vibrant outside today. I was getting compliments from people, and I don't know. It was just a good 
Oh yeah, the falafel is like pretty big. Like it's like the size of my torso, you know. And now I have dinner sorted as well. Just doing the things it needs to do. It's delicious. I am satisfied. I am happy. I just decided to take a walk because it's my second to last day. So yeah, it's my second to last full day here. Not sure. Okay, I'll go to the beach because it's sunset and it's so pretty. And I'm sad a little bit. A little bit. It's, it's bittersweet. This is my first time living alone. Except I'm not really living alone because, you know, I have housemates and that. But I guess I'm not living with my parents. And it's been almost a month now. So life is good. And the sunset is so beautiful. I'll show you now. The dungeon. I'm not getting up bringing my camera guys It's so pretty So after this I went to Brazil And don't worry guys I have a vlog for that next But when I returned from Brazil It was holiday season And I decided that I was going to stay with my family Because I wanted to visit my extended family And this meant Temporarily moving back When I came back things were awkward for a while and when the new year came, I was thinking of leaving again. And I couldn't bring myself to do it. I really do value having my family and friends in the same city as me. And when I move out again, I want a lifestyle upgrade, not a downgrade. And that's not dismissing the beautiful life that I made for myself, but I must be honest with myself. Johannesburg is on top. This chapter of my life taught me that if something makes you lose your peace of mind, it's simply not worth it. Trust your intuition and put yourself first so that you can experience your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you're not already, please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. The future is exciting. Are you ready?